Thomas, I'm very interested in your South African background. Maybe you can tell me, well, did you know anything at all about cricket before you left Glad Sport? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, we, um, we moved over when I was nine, so I, I turned ten in Australia. Um, and yeah, Dad's work obviously um, moved us over there and then we sort of immigrated there. But did you play cricket at all before you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. At school I did. Um, so I did grade one, two and three in uh, Bailey Park, which is a school in Poch. Um, yeah, so I was able to play a bit of cricket there, uh, and then obviously, yeah, the rest of my cricket was all played in Australia. Now, I think one of the things a lot of South Africans would like to know is how Lubbershane became Lubbershane, and how do you feel about that? Um, no, Lubbershane is is sort of my taken name now because um, you know I'm Australian, and um, obviously. Uh, Labaskachni uh, is is the traditional way that they pronounce it uh, over here, but look, I, I'm not bothered at all. Uh, either way, I'm I'm not concerned how it's pronounced. How was the uh, couple of weeks in Lowestoft, and how is uh, yeah seeing the family catching up? Yeah, great, great. Um, yeah, it's very exciting. Um, I've never played over here, um, so it's going to be exciting to to play in front of uh, my family over here and that they're all very excited and um, yeah it was nice to have a couple of days and, and spend with them and, and sort of yeah something that I haven't done uh, since 2017. And the game in Poch I guess you'll have family coming to, I mean how many relatives do you expect? Look, yeah, <laughs> depends how many tickets there are. Mm -hmm. um, no, nah, we got we got a lot of family that will come to uh, probably Bloemfontein and Poch. Um, so yeah, it's it, it's gonna be very exciting for me, but pro as well for them, it's um, it's the first time they've probably seen me play cricket um, since I was a probably very small kid. Could you estimate how many people you might have in the crowd? Oh, they'd be north of twenty. Yeah, there'd, there'd be a fair few um, family, close friends, and stuff like that. Family friends. So, so you've never been here since you were since you left, is that right? Since you. No, 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 no. We've come back quite regularly um, when we're, when I was younger, but I've never played yeah, cricket right. over here um, probably since 2003, 2004 when I was very small. So when was the last time you were actually here? T 2017. Uh, we, I came here for my honeymoon um, to actually to Cape Town to start and then we, uh, we went uh, through Africa um, did, uh, to Botswana and stuff like that. Um, yeah, loved it. Loved it. Uh, India was crazy. Uh, just I loved the the pressure and and that the atmosphere over there. It's um, it was a great opportunity to to um, yeah to to play. Um, you know, obviously that role at number four is something that I you know want to make sure I continue to improve and, and and make that sort of a spot that I can continue to be successful in. Um, but you know, um, disappointing that I probably. That those two opportunities I got 50 or I got 46 and 50 and wasn't able to kick on and and that was a learning experience for me as well just making sure that I timed that sort of back end of my innings um, right and and don't pull the trigger too early. Um, Marcy obviously like lived and breathed cricket and, and loved the game and had a huge sort of start to your career. Um, have you sort of had to um, do things to make sure that it doesn't become all-consuming? I mean like things like just making sure that you have other, other stuff like off the um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I do talk a lot about cricket and I enjoy watching cricket, but I've got enough people around that I enjoy their company, even if it is talking about cricket and stuff like that. It definitely, I get sort of that away from cricket feeling, at least. Um, but for me, it's never been about trying to get away from cricket to sort of relax. It's been about kind of more bringing it together um, and, and, and kind of being a part of who I am. But, but like I said, it's not, um, you know, it's not like I specifically try and get away from the game and try and not think about it because, well, for me at least, that's quite difficult. <laughs> does it come with, I mean, is it hard to sort of, after you had a start like that, particularly to test summer, um, yeah, is it hard to sort of avoid 
Um, yeah, I mean, pressure's a part of the game. I think it's, the, the nice thing is, is as a kid growing up, you learn that quite young because cricket's quite a fickle game and there's always pressure on you to score runs. And for me, it's just about making sure that, you know, I'm just staying nice and consistent. Um, you know, it's actually been tough the last couple of weeks because I haven't played. It's been weird because I've been so busy playing cricket for the last probably year. Uh, and in the last week, I've, played, I've had one innings in about three weeks, which has been probably the least I've batted over the last two years. So, um, yeah, for me, it's just about, like you said, enjoying the journey and enjoying the different times and making sure that I'm ready for you know, the next challenge, which is obviously uh, out here tomorrow. Well, as you mentioned, um, playing in front of your family. Um, is it, are you sort of feeling like it's a really special thing? Like, you know, you're playing in, at the Gabba must have been special like is this in a similar way yeah definitely um i think just in the meaning for probably myself but and for them i think it's it's nice for them you know they saw me as a little kid just loving cricket and and, and growing up and then you know they probably they've seen my career from a distance and they haven't really been able to to see it sort of unfold um live so it, it's going to be a really nice moment to, to share that um you know, at the next two venues. Um, but, yeah, it, it's very exciting. I can't wait. Is it sort of grandparents and aunts and uncles? And yeah, family? grandparents, aunties, uncles, friends, family friends, they're all, uh, they're all flying down, coming down, so it's... Are your parents and siblings coming back as well? Or are they... um, yeah, so my mum, my mum's here. Um, my dad might come, whereas he's sort of the, he's a late call and just depends with work and stuff like that. But um, yeah, look, hopefully, you know, it'd be a nice moment for, for everyone, you know, growing, um, being able to play, being able to watch in sort of the, the town that I grew up in. Um, yeah, it'd be a nice moment. I was just getting back to the Labuschagne. Were you called Labuschagne when you started school in Australia or was it only once you became known as a cricketer? No, no, no. It started at school. It started at school, um, just obviously with the the pronunciation and and probably how you read it in English. Um, you know, it, it's it's Labuschagne. So uh, it started from when I was quite young and and sort of just filtered through. Um, there's been a few sort of different times where we've had a lot of variations. I think I've had a fair few nicknames if you roll through them, um, and that's just with my last name. So. Um, yeah, but like I said, it, it's not really a concern for me. Uh, like I said, um, you know, over here they'll they'll, they'll pronounce it um, Labaskachni, but but um, Labashain is 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 sort of you know what it what it is. And can you still speak Afrikaans? Yeah, yeah, I can. Um, obviously, grew up, went to uh, Afrikaans school till I was in grade three, so I've got a, a little bit of Afrikaans still floating about. No. <laughs> just on the just on your schedule, like you always seem to be so energetic and loving cricket and everything. Has there been any point over the last two years, as you said, where you've sort of just hit a wall a little bit and just been absolutely exhausted, given how much you play, or is it just been constant? Um, there was, I mean, after the Ashes, that was probably the most draining I, I've been. But once again, it it, it it just helped me just getting straight back into it, just getting that rhythm of playing. I think nothing teaches you the game or gets you more prepared and ready, um, just jumping back in and playing and getting that feel for it. Um, because like in cricket, you're not always going to be 100%, you're not always going to be, but it's about finding ways to make sure that you're um, still contributing to your side and making sure that you're you know, still being able to play at your best. So for me, it's been more probably more tough at the last few, few weeks, um, sort of, yeah, just getting back to, you know, I had a week of training and then finished there and then, you know, we played one game. I had one innings at the Gabba and then had another couple of, couple of days off and then had another couple of days off. So, it's um, yeah, it's weird when you have played um, so much cricket in such a short space time to then sort of just have a bit of a break. Yeah.